Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. Uh, let's do another round of uh, Transcendent Monster Reviews, and uh, we'll look at uh, Lancelot first. And then I did talk about him uh, at length in the Avalon video that I just put up, um, so I'll be uh, pretty brief here. Uh, stats, very good, especially that uh, speed, uh, just very high overall. And then uh, keeps the same uh, null abilities. Uh, the bump combo, he picks up uh, two very strong bump combos. Uh, the Spark Bullet, same as uh, Ryoma, uh, good for lots of hits. And then uh, the other bump combo is the uh, Homing uh, Pierce shot. And uh, that's the same strength as uh, like Ibaraki Doji, uh, Alice's main bump combo, Tiny Transcendence main bump combo. Um, so very, very strong. And then um, the uh, Strike Shot is the uh, becomes a Pierce Strike Shot, uh, but it adds the ability to go through blocks. And then um, the first tier is a four-turn strike shot. Um, so after it charges up once, he can become a pierce at will. Uh, he will not get a, a multiplier to his speed or uh, attack uh, during that four-turn. Uh, but this is good for like uh, getting out of bad position or grabbing hearts or setting off bump combos or whatever. And uh, actually, with that uh, four-turn uh, bump combo, uh, he will gain a null magic circle, as it turns out. Anytime you use a Strike Shot, uh, you get Null Magic Circle. Um, so if you think about it, this Lancelot has a, a quadruple Null ability, uh, which is insane. <laughs> uh, I always liked his Ascension version. I thought it was underrated, um, and he's only gotten better here. Uh, maybe still underrated, but uh, hopefully this video will change some minds. And then uh, we are also using uh, Eclipse uh, in this video, uh, but I already did a review for him where I took him through uh, Bishamontan, so you can have a look at that. Uh, we'll look at uh, Siegfried next, and uh, this guy's got a uh, soft spot in my heart. He, um, he was one of the very first uh, Hatcher monsters that I ever got, and um, I used him a ton. Uh, I used him to make Max Lux of pretty much every light monster there. Um, Emerald Dragon, Key, Jack, just everybody, Fenrir. <laughs> so he's awesome. And then as a result, I'm pretty good at playing with uh, one-way laser characters. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to show off during the uh, course of this video how to get the most out of them. Uh, but uh, yeah, for him we'll take a little bit more time. Uh, stats are very good overall also. Uh, HP is a tank status level, forgot to uh, hypermax him. Um, attack is fine, but we're not really using him for his attack. And then uh, speed is uh, slowish, uh, which uh, works well for him. Uh, since we don't want him moving too fast anyway. Uh, he keeps the uh, same double Null ability as the Ascension form, Null Damage while Null Warp, and he brings along the uh, Dragon Slayer from his Evolution version. Uh, the uh, Bump Combo, uh, like I said, he has the uh, one-way laser, uh, but he has the, uh, the pretty new twin one-way laser. Uh, what that is is two one-way lasers next to each other. Uh, it does the uh, same amount of damage, and um, uh, per laser, that is. And um, there is no crossover, I believe, uh, between the two lasers. Uh, you're just going to get hit by uh, one or the other. Um, but yeah, this really increases the, uh, the um, kind of the width of the laser, uh, making it easier to hit uh, guys and also easier to hit uh, weak points of the boss. And then uh, his sub bump combo is the uh, homing uh, shot, which is uh, pretty good on its own, actually. Nothing to sneeze at. And then uh, his strike shot is all new. Uh, it, it gives him a, a speed up and then he bounces around. Uh, but when, the, when a turn is over, when he stops moving, he returns to his original position. Uh, this is pretty amazing. Uh, so with a Siegfried, uh, positioning is very, very important for him. Um, so if you ever get him into good position, you want to keep him there. Uh, but this gives you the flexibility to move around to do something else. Uh, like uh, grab a heart if it's an emergency, or set off a bump combo, or just go to take out some guy with a direct hit, and then return to your ideal position. Um, so this really, really makes uh, Siegfried uh, easier to use. Okay, well, I think that'll do it for the reviews. Uh, we will start the tape and then head into the mission. And then uh, we'll bring all of these characters to uh, Doom, uh, the impossible mission. And yeah, this is not an easy one. <laughs> this took me a couple of tries with this team. 
And um, actually, the uh, JP game, they, um, they have this new thing where if you beat the Tower of Champions, uh, there's like a bingo board slash uh, danger room thing on top of the Tower of Champions, uh, where you can play all of the, um, or most of the impossible missions, and then um, the uh, colossal missions. And then a lot of the uh, JP players that I watch on YouTube, they said that they had the most trouble with Doom. <laughs> so I'm not alone in thinking that. Okay, so uh, on every stage we see the uh, Aqua Dragons, and then when we take them down they have a green flare looking thing. And uh, what that does, uh, it uh, heals all uh, status effects on our guys. And then there's a lot of um, kind of status effects that come out in this uh, mission, uh, like poison, or um, ability lock, or uh, bump combo lock. Um, so we can kind of save those dragons for when we need it. Uh, but they all have their own attacks as well, um, so it's kind of a balancing act uh, between leaving them and then taking them down. Uh, but uh, gimmicks here, they are um, uh, warps, damage walls, and then uh, some of the robots throw uh, stick-on mines. And that's, those are not like uh, regular mines. Um, they are thrown directly onto your characters. Uh, characters with Minesweeper will pick it up as normal, uh, characters without it, even characters with flight, uh, will have the mine stuck on their body and then uh, it will blow up and then do damage um, in a number of turns. Uh, the way that you can get rid of those uh, stick-on mines is to... Uh, you, can have, you can hit that character with a character with Minesweeper um, or you can uh, use the character with a mine stuck on it and then hit a Minesweeper character, give the mine to the Minesweeper. Um, or you can clear the stage, that will also take the uh, mine off. And then um, none of my characters on my team, oh there are the mines, uh, none of the characters on my team have Minesweeper, um, except for Yugodrazzle. So her, one of her main jobs is just to hit uh, as many of my teammates as possible uh, to kind of pick the mines off of them. Um, or I can use my teammates to hit her. And then um, I was contemplating using, um, who is it, uh, Gabrielle Ascension. Uh, she is a Pierce with Minesweeper and Null Warp. Uh, but I decided to go for Yugodrazzle because she has a higher speed. Um, so I thought she could be more useful for grabbing mines. And then uh, she also has a uh, Blast Bomb combo. And um, pretty much everybody on this team benefits from uh, the Blast Bomb combo. Um, especially uh, Eclipse, I would say. Uh, he is a, a power type, so he's a bit slow, uh, but he does have a speed up. So if he hits a Yugodrazzle, then he can uh, speed himself up. Okay, but here I see that Siegfried is in good position. Um, so we'll go ahead and use his uh, strike shot, uh, because I wanted to hit Yugodrazzle and give her the mine, uh, since his mine was just about to blow up. Uh, but we ended up uh, taking down everybody anyways. And then we returned to his good position, uh, so that we can use his uh, bump combo. Uh, more effectively. Okay, uh, but basically the order of events for every uh, stage of this mission uh, is going to be take down the little guys that are not the Aqua Dragons, and then we will take down the um, the boss or mini boss, and then we'll take down the uh, Aqua Dragons as we need to, um, either if they're doing too much damage or if they're just in the way, or if we need to heal some uh, status effects. Okay, and then uh, when you are playing with a character with a, a one-way laser where the uh, positioning is so important, uh, you really kind of have to play all of your other characters around that character um, and then kind of like nudge it um, so that it gets a better position. Uh, but yeah, when it is uh, Siegfried's turn, uh, it is going to be in the best interest to keep it as low as possible and then usually in the center as possible. Uh, but as we saw just there, uh, the worst enemy of the uh, one-way laser character is the uh, um, irregular bound. <laughs> so anytime that that happens, we need to um, kind of work our way back to good position. Yikes, okay, so some pretty good damage there. 
uh, so we can see what it means to leave out an Aqua Dragon. Okay, nice critical there from Eclipse. All right, so I'm going to use uh, Siegfried's uh, Strike Shot again um, because I want to grab that heart, um, but it's going to be a pretty um, random angle, so I don't know where he's going to end up. Of course, he ends up exactly where I want him to be, but <laughs> you can't count on that happening. So uh, just to be safe, we use the uh, Strike Shot. And then uh, being able to use that every other turn is a very, very powerful uh, ability for him. And uh, yeah, um, I used Siegfried a lot in the early part of the game, but not so much the later part. Uh, but with these upgrades, it's going to be a lot uh, easier to use and uh, more fun, I think. Okay, so here we are at the uh, mini-boss. And uh, what we want to do here, or what we don't want to do, is uh, be on the uh, sides of Doom. Uh, there it is. That's the uh, horizon laser. Um, so if we stay above or below him, uh, that'll work. And uh, that's perfect for uh, Siegfried, since he's got the uh, laser that goes up. Alright, so again, thinking about uh, Siegfried's positioning, we'll just keep moving him down and as close to the center as possible. Alright, the warps are a little bit of a... Um, they kind of put a damper on Yugodrazzle, uh, but there's not too many of them, so we can kind of weave through them. Okay, we'll slowly work our way down so that we uh, get away from the um, horizon laser. Okay, so a lot of characters with uh, poison. I'm going to use uh, Eclipse's uh, strike shot here just to clear the stage. It's getting a little bit too close, so... <laughs> Alrighty, so a few hits, um, he gets the, uh, the power boost. Uh, hitting the damage wall. So that was a perfect uh, placement there. All right, and then uh, one last stage before the boss sequence. And then here I'm going to take a chance, not use uh, Siegfried's uh, strike shot. Um, Try to position myself a little bit to the left. Got the irregular bound again, uh, but that wasn't too bad how that ended up, so uh, we can work with that. Uh, but yeah, if I wanted to get even more uh, kind of focused on uh, the one-way laser, I would use all of my other characters, uh, be Pierce, and then have like Null Warp, um, just so that I could hit Siegfried every turn and uh, kind of nudge him into better position. Yeah, I want to get rid of that uh, Bluebird there. His attacks can be a little bit damaging. And the Snakes too, of course. And then uh, here, it was very tempting to go after that Gold Heart with uh, Siegfried. Uh, but again, I'm putting a priority on his uh, positioning. Um, so I'll wait until the turn after the Rabbit. Okay, very good. Uh, that'll heal everybody's uh, poison as well. Oh, and uh, one thing about uh, Siegfried's uh, speed, uh, if you do a horizontal shot um, and then he doesn't hit anything, he just hits walls, uh, he will end up maybe a quarter width uh, behind him uh, when he stops his movement. Uh, so if you keep that in mind, uh, you can kind of uh, control his positioning, uh, even if you're just doing a left and right attack. Okay, another nice critical from Eclipse there. We'll take down the uh, mine robot. And uh, yes, here we are on the uh, first uh, boss stage. Uh, same idea as before, take down the little guys, uh, and then go after the boss uh, while taking down the Aqua Dragons as we need to. 
uh, thankfully we did not get the irregular bound there, so <laughs> Siegfried kept his uh, good uh, position. So we'll hit his uh, one-way laser and get some pretty crazy damage there. Okay, with a Lancelot we'll get rid of the uh, Mind Robot and then hopefully the uh, Aqua Dragon as well. Okay, great. Okay, and then uh, with Eclipse we're going to hit Yuga Drazzle, give her the Mind. And then we'll also nudge uh, Siegfried from the side uh, so that we can move him closer to the center. Okay, that turned out alright. All right, and then here, if I hit uh, Doom with uh, Siegfried, uh, chances are I'm going to take him down, he's going to disappear, and then my character is going to keep moving and maybe get out of position. Uh, so we'll use the strike shot again, just to make sure he gets back to that uh, position. And of course he returns to good position, but <laughs> again, you can never tell. He might have gotten a regular bound, so... Okay, second boss stage, and uh, I like to get rid of the uh, bluebirds first. It would be very tempting to hit Siegfried here, but um, just to be on the safe side, we'll go after the bluebirds first. Okay, we'll move up, keep going after the bluebirds. And then Eclipse is kind of in bad position here. Yeah, not much we can do there. Alright, HP is looking a little low. Um, but again, we will focus on uh, Siegfried's positioning first. Okay, a little bit too much to the left, but that's uh, workable. Okay, I don't see any attacks uh, coming up next turn, so we will, uh, instead of grab the heart, we'll just uh, use Yuga Drazzle to move over Siegfried a little bit. Okay, very good. Heart turns golden, and then we can uh, grab it with uh, Lancelot. Okay, awesome. Alright, I should have done a little bit more of a, an extreme angle so that Lancelot wouldn't have ended up in the uh, horizon laser. Okay, that is fine. Alright, and then for the uh, last stage, I would like uh, Siegfried to be in the uh, kind of the right half of the screen. So, yes, this attack worked out fine. All right, with a Yuga Drazzle, we'll set off some uh, bump combos. Very good. All right, HP is looking a little scary again. <laughs> so let's grab the heart, let's set off some bump combos, and then hopefully beat the uh, stage. Not quite, okay. Okay, with Eclipse, we'll set off the uh, Siegfried's Bump combo, grab the sword, and move on to the last stage. And I would love Siegfried to be on the right side. Let's see if he stays there. Okay, great. Okay, so we are right under Doom. Um, I could use the Strike Shot just to be sure. Uh, but I took a chance and I just did a uh, up and down attack, and that turned out okay. Alright, and then uh, with Yuga Drazzle, we are going to get rid of the uh, ability locks for sure. Uh, if we can also hit the boss, uh, that would be an extra bonus. Alright, oh, and we managed to get some bump combos too, so that was good. Okay, so no more ability locks, that is very, very big. Bump combo damage in here. Excellent. 
excellent. So yeah, as we saw, um, the, uh, the weak point of Doom was right on top of uh, Siegfried. Um, so you would think that two uh, lasers worth of damage would have gone in, but only one did. So that's uh, an example of how that works. <laughs> Alrighty. So there was me trying to get extra hits on the uh, damage wall um, to up my attack more. Uh, but his uh, speed up was not as high as I was uh, expecting, so... Uh, maybe it would have been better just to go down first. But anyway, that did uh, more than enough damage, and then we will finish it up with uh, Siegfried's uh, Strike Shot. Okay, so that was uh, Doom with a, a few of the new uh, Transcendent Monsters. And um, yeah, these three Transcendent Monsters in particular, they might be a little bit uh, kind of under the radar compared to some of the other ones. Uh, but I think they're very, very strong. Uh, so yeah, please give them a try. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.